that article here. God grants happy boy inheritance. Oh, no, 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 honey. Happy boy inheritance. We pronounce our H's in English. Thank you, you honor, he said. <laughs> Marshall Thompson, created by Jess Oppenheimer, brought to you by Post, the cereals that happen to be just a little bit better. You know a cereal will please you most when it comes to you in the package from Post, cause all Post cereals happen to be just a little better, a little bit better. A little bit better than any other cereal happens to be. Johnny, you know what time it is. Hmm? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. I got interested in this wild love triangle here. Love triangle? Mm-hmm. See, this Mrs. Carstairs found her husband with another woman and shot him. If you found me with another woman, would you shoot me? Well, uh, you are very much in love with this other woman? Madly. Then I shoot myself so you can be happy. Ah, that's why I married a French girl. They're brought up right. <laughs> well, I guess I'd better get going here. Honey, what is my camera doing out? Susie wants to borrow it. What? <laughs> yes, our niece is having a birthday party and she wants to take some pictures. Angel, do you realize that this is a Lieberflex 420? It is not good for birthday parties. <laughs> this is one of the finest cameras you can buy. I wouldn't loan it to anybody, especially Susie. <laughs> oh, but she won't hurt it. She will be very careful. Susie is most trustworthy. Oh, yeah? Well, George has a camera. Why doesn't she use his? She broke it. <laughs> it was a very cheap camera. Yeah, well, once she got her hands on my Lieberflex, it would be a cheap camera, too. <laughs> hey, it's getting all dusty. Honey, what about that case? Would you stop by the camera shop and... Johnny, I asked yesterday, and the yesterday before that, and the man told me that he will call you when it comes in. Oh, well, would you mind stopping by again today? It just might be there, huh? All right, now you go on to work. I have to vacuum and scrub the kitchen floor and go to the market. So you go. Scrub the kitchen floor? <laughs> you don't actually scrub it, do you? Yes. You on your hands and knees? Well, of course. Well, you're amazing. How often do you do this? Well, uh, uh, three times a week. Well, you're not going to do that anymore. I'll get someone else in and do it. Someone else? Yes, I think it would be nice to have a maid in the house. Maid? Maid. Maid. M-A-I-D. Maid. So who is she? Who is who? Who is this maid you want to bring in this house? The proposition is pareil. Wait, 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 that's maid, honey. I mean maid, uh, not a maiden. Uh, look, she can be young, old, married, unmarried. It's someone you pay to do the housework. Oh. Yeah, now look who's jealous. <laughs> a minute ago, you said if you found me with another woman, you'd shoot yourself so I could be happy. Yes, yeah. well, uh, that was just for maybe. Uh, but it is for real. I shoot you, I shoot her, I shoot everybody. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and anyway, Johnny, it is foolish. We do not need a maid. Honey, we are going to get someone in to do the heavy cleaning a couple of times a week. A couple of times? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that is too much. No, if you must have a maid, one time a week is too much enough. Okay, we'll start with once a week. I'll call the agency this morning and have them send someone over. Well, I, I will call. No, I will call. I want to make sure it's done. Look, I don't want you all tired out at night. I want you rested and refreshed for me. Is that 
the geese who is tired. No, and that's why we're going to get a maid. I don't want anything to ever slow you down. <laughs> Short blocks. <laughs> I, I will show you where things are and, and get you started. I have to go to the market. I see you have those high ceilings. Yes, isn't that nice? It, it gives us a feeling of space. Gives me a feeling of high walls to clean. <laughs> At the kitchen? Yes. <laughs> How many rooms do you have here? Six. Six? <laughs> like a much smaller house from the outside. Sometimes I think they build them that way just to fool us. <laughs> well, uh, the room are just right for us. Uh, now, you can start off here in the living room with the dusting, and then with the mop, and uh, then you can go with the vacuum. Where's your television set? Oh, it's in the other room, but you won't have to worry about it. I polished it yesterday. Oh, I wasn't thinking of that. I like to watch the many loves of Lillian during my coffee break. <laughs> coffee break? That's an American custom. Every afternoon we get time off to drink some coffee. Oh, and uh, while you are watching television and drinking the coffee, I am paying you? $10 a day plus car fare. Car fare? Say, you aren't familiar with things, are you? Another custom? It's another custom. You see, we get car fare both ways. We get the coffee break, like I told you. Lunch, when we work over Lunch! time. Lunch! You don't have to bother much. I'm on a diet. <laughs> well, I think a little work would take care of the fat. <laughs> It's not for my weight. I'm on a very high protein diet. It's medical. You don't have to bother much, though, honey. I'll just dig around in the freezer for a little steak or something. <laughs> oh, and so there won't be any misunderstanding. I think I'd better tell you that I don't do any heavy work at all, like scrubbing the floors or washing the woodwork. Any work like that to be done, you'll have to have somebody extra in. <sighs> it's another custom. <laughs> Where I come from, we have a costume, too. People who want to get paid have to work. No wonder your last maid quit. <laughs> I did not have a last maid. He's my husband who wants me to have a maid. In the end of the day, he wants me to be rest and refreshed. You know, that's just the way my husband wants me to be. <laughs> that's why I took up this kind of work. <laughs> You do not want scrub floor. You do not want wash woodwork. You want me to give you lunch, give you cafe, and give you $10 to come here to break the coffee and watch Lillian make love to many? Well, I will not do it. You can go. Allez, go. What about my car fare, lady? Car fare. I only give you car fare if you go where I tell you to go. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the case hasn't come in yet. No, I know. I, I would like you to have a look at this camera, please. Ah, the Lieberflex 420. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so light and compact and so beautifully engineered. So beautiful. That, that 
little noisy. He's supposed to be there. Yes? I keep telling people not to leave their cameras with children. The little monster tykes, they always break something. Well, we do not have any children. Oh, 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 I, oh, oh you. I, I am the little monster. <laughs> do you think you, you, can, you can fix this? Well, I don't know. Well, let's just, shall we take a look at the damage? All right, we'll see. <laughs> You cannot see its life? Well, that high, well, I don't know. Now, wait just a minute. It may not be as bad as we think it is. Oh, well, it's not as serious as that. There's a spool that's knocked out there, and there's a few loose gears. Yes, like that. What will it cost? Uh, $100. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars? This is a beautiful man. <laughs> I'm sure that your husband wouldn't mind paying that price. Oh, no, no. My husband must not hear of that. Oh, oh. oh. Yes, oh. I, I will pay for it myself. Oh, no, no, no. I, I know, but a uh, uh, charge account with you. No, 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 I'm sorry. This is just a little shop, and we only do a cash business here. Oh, but the big store let people charge things. Now, if you want to own a big store someday, you should let me charge, too. I used to own a big store with a charge, and... That's why I wound up at a little store where they take it. <laughs> well, I have to get the money somehow. Well, that's all right. The camera will be fixed. It'll be waiting here for you. You just get the money and come back and pick it up. Thank you, Mr. Hopkins. It's very kind of you. Oh, one hundred dollars. Hi, honey. Oh, hello, Tony. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Will the maid come? Yes. Well, looks like she did a good job. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> hey, you were a little bit of a spot today, weren't you? How do you know? <laughs> it's hard to figure out. I didn't leave you any money to pay the maid. Uh, oh. oh, the maid. Did you have enough, or did you tell her you'd pay her next time? Next time? Yeah, next time she comes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, Th that is it. That's what I did. He, oh, but uh, she, she could not wait for the next time, and, and uh, she, she's, she's coming tomorrow morning to get it. Boy, she must need that dough pretty bad. Oh, yeah, she does. <laughs> well, she did the work. She should be paid. I'll pay her. Oh, all right. There you are. Two five, sir. Oh, you know, uh, as long as she will be here tomorrow, I, I will have her to do some more work. Oh, she's very good. Right. Remember, I wanted you to have her twice a week in the first place. So you pay me for tomorrow, too. <laughs> there you are. Oh, you know, Johnny, Johnny, you are right about having a maid. Maybe we'll have her day after tomorrow, too. Huh? <laughs> Three times a week? But this morning you said twice a week was too much enough. Oh, oh well, all right, Johnny. Say, did you stop by the camera shop today? Yes. Uh, Mr. Hopkins said that you kids should be there by any day now. Uh, and you know, since it is so soon, I, I left the camera with him to be sure that the case fits it. Well, that's very good thinking. Oh, thank you. Excuse me, Susie and George. Hi. Woman. How do you know? Uh, well, uh, John called to get the number of the agency. Oh. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. I haven't found a good one yet. Oh, Annie, so this one worked out just fine, didn't she, honey? Oh, yes, you're fine. What'd she look like? Yes, you're pretty. I, I think so. <laughs> better keep Johnny away from her. Oh, well, that I'm not worried. Uh, another woman tried to take my Johnny away from me, and I would scratch her eyes out. If another woman tried to take my George away from me, I would have her eyes examined. <laughs> oh, I don't know. When I decided to marry you, there were a couple of broken hearts in the neighborhood. Yeah, my mother's and my father's. <laughs> He's a very attractive man. See, I got offers I can't even handle. <laughs> How about that girl up at Swan Lake last summer? The one that kept smiling at me? The word is laughing. <laughs> 
All right, now that's enough lovemaking for tonight. I would like to propose a toast to our new maid. May her mop forever away. <laughs> oh, Annie, if this woman is really good, do you think she'd have any time for me? Oh, no. Uh, no. She, she's very busy. Uh, she, she's coming here tomorrow. Oh, well, tomorrow wouldn't be good for me anyway. I'll be gone all day. Oh, really? <laughs> well, uh, I, I tell you what. You can have her tomorrow. I, I will take her the next day. Oh, uh, no. I think I'll wait till I keep my eye on her. Oh, but you can trust this woman. I have never seen such a worker. Really? Yes. I, I tell you what. Uh, first she will come here, and uh, you let Yuki with me, and I will tell her what to do, and I will pay her for you. Well, that's a very good idea. <laughs> uh, Ten dollars, please. <laughs> oh, George. Thank you. Oh, and I know that this maid will clean your house as I will clean it myself. <laughs> mmm, smell good ground coffee. That's Maxwell House coffee. Listen to the sound of the Maxwell House coffee pot at work. smelling coffee. It will taste as good as it smells because it's good ground Maxwell House. Maxwell House coffee is good to the last drop. Enjoy the rich, fresh taste of Maxwell House coffee. The ground coffee that tastes as good as it smells every time. Maxwell House. care much for the shade, but that's the prettiest base I've ever seen. Hi. Oh, that show, you must promise you will not tell Johnny, please. <laughs> okay, but you wouldn't mind telling me, would you? you uh, oh, why I, I'm here cleaning. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, well, uh, it, it is because... Uh, Oh, it's because I have done something horrible. Oh, I, I, I cannot say it. What? I broke Johnny's camera. Oh, no, not the Lieberflex 420. <laughs> to be fixed. That's why I'm, I'm cleaning your house and, and my house to, to, to get the money. I never had a maid. Oh, I feel so terrible about you! <laughs> Turn off the sprinklers, honey. There's nothing to cry about. Now, Annie, there's just one thing to do. We've got to go to John and tell him the truth. <laughs> how, how can I? Oh, look, these things happen. They can't be helped, but you have to face them. You want me to tell him? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no, poor, poor Johnny. 
He would be so tame and unhappy. Oh, maybe for a little while. <laughs> You'll get over it. Good afternoon. Oh, Susie. Yes, Susie. Will someone please tell me what's going on here? The dialogue sounds like you're rehearsing for a soap opera. What do you mean? These things happen. They can't be helped. But Johnny will be so unhappy. Maybe for a while, but he'll get over it. It can't be what it looks like. But what is it? <laughs> well, uh, it, it is not very easy to explain. Force yourself. <laughs> Smug, aren't you? It can't be what it looks like. Now, now, George, let me tell Susie. No, I'll tell her. I'm glad you walked in on us like this. Now it's all out in the open. <laughs> no, why pretend? Why make up any wild stories? It's happened, and we have to be adult about it. Oh, so let me tell Susie the two oh, I... Don't be silly, darling. What can you say after what she's seen with her own eyes? <laughs> Don't fight this, Susie. This is bigger than both of us. <laughs> oh, Susie! Susie, listen! Oh, oh, Josh, why have you do that? You have gone crazy? I just couldn't pass up the chance. <laughs> For years, she's been saying no other woman would look at me. And when she came in and thought that you and I were... Well, I just couldn't let an opportunity like that go to waste. <laughs> but what about me? What will she think of me? Oh, we'll tell her the whole story later. We oui, we oui, tell the story now. Oh, no, please. Don't you see? This is the first time she's ever been jealous of me. And it feels so good. <laughs> oh, please, let her believe what she thinks just for a little while, huh? Well, Johnny. What if she tell Johnny? Oh, oh, now I have to tell him everything. Oh, this I do not like. And this I do not like at all. <laughs> Susie thinks that you and George... <laughs> yes. Oh, isn't that cool to do that to her? Oh, yeah, maybe. But she's been giving George a needle for so long, it's about time she got stuck. <laughs> Come in. Oh, hi, George. I hope you don't mind my borrowing your girl for a while. Be my guest, Johnny boy. <laughs> you should have seen Susie's face. It was all I could do to keep from laughing. Where is she? I don't know. I kind of figured she might come by here. Oh, well, now, this is gone too far. Now, George, you should go and find her. I might just do that one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> I will go. Wait, wait, that's got to be Susie. Look, don't tell her we're here. I don't want to hear what she says. No, I don't want to. Wait a minute, George, I can't do that. Oh, well, just let her start, then I'll come in and surprise her. Oh, come, on. Listen, come on, come on, come on, in the kitchen. Oh, this will be good. <laughs> by your face that she isn't. Uh, funniest thing happened to me this afternoon. Um, Angel and George had a little joke on me. <laughs> it was really very funny. I, uh, I came home and uh, Angel was there and George had his arms around her. <laughs> and uh, then when they saw me, they, they, they decided to pretend it was serious. You know, don't fight it. It's bigger than both of us. It was really very funny. It, it was a very funny joke. It was a joke, wasn't it, John? Because if it wasn't, if it wasn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, I tried to think of what, what life would be like without that miserable son of a gun. <laughs> I'd be lost without George. I, I know I rag at him a lot, but he's my baby. <laughs> oh, Star, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> Baby's little George.
She's trying to make some money to pay for us. I was just consoling her when you walked in. Oh, I knew it all the time. <laughs> sure. I guess it was kind of a bad joke, but when I saw what you were thinking, well, it gave me my one little chance to save face. <sighs> well, that's a laugh. Who'd want to save a face like that? <laughs> I must have been out of my mind. Come on. Who'd want you? No woman would ever look at you twice unless she couldn't believe it the first time. <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> Johnny, I will never keep anything from you again. A wife should tell her husband everything. That is right, honey. Oh, but please, Johnny. Please, let me not have a maid. Please. Oh, oh, please, let me do all the housework and the scrubbing and the washing, please. Sure, honey. You win, no maid. You can do all the housework yourself. Oh, thank you, Johnny. It's all right, honey. And anything to make you happy. It can't last. I just know it can't. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. I have a surprise for you, too. What is yours? Guess. Oh, well... I'll give you a clue. Each delicious puff is tumbled through sugar and honey to give it that extra special sweetness. Poor sugar creeps. Now, I'll give you another clue. You can eat it as cereal, or you can eat it right from the box, like candy. Must be poor sugar creeps. It is poor sugar oh, creeps. Oh, Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> Sum up, up those poor sugar creeps, and then you won't think of all your problems. <laughs> Angel was brought to you tonight by Post, the cereals that happen to be just a little bit better. A little bit better than any other cereal happens to be. Thomas and all his family, Monday nights over most of these same stations.